Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Prime Insight. My name is Joey, the Operations Supervisor at VertiDrive, and I'll be your guest speaker this week. The popularity of the VertiDrive robot continues to soar. Contractors love it, because it has extremely high production rates. It can blast way faster as a single man, with an average production rate of 350 square feet an hour. It eliminates the cost of scaffolding needed for vertical heights. And it's also much safer because you're not standing next to the nozzle. However, the robot is only as productive as the operator controlling it. So here are seven tips to help you maximize your production rates. The more of these tips you employ, the better your productivity will be. The first thing is to set the speed of driving. It does not have to be too fast, which will cause striping, and not too slow as well, which is unproductive overblasting. The second is to set the speed of the swing arm. You don't want it to be too slow for overblasting, and if you go too fast, you will not get the right profile, which means you'll need to do two sweeps. And then you're losing efficiency, of course. We recommend you use the step time function as well, which means the robot advances automatically, which gives you better control of the blasting. Another thing is accounting for low visibility. As you drive the robot further away, your ability to monitor the blast pattern becomes compromised. Therefore, we recommend you to use a low dust abrasive like GMA Garnet, and also dial in the correct settings with the unit at eye level. That will ensure your blast pattern is still perfect, even when you can't see it clearly. Also, ensure your equipment is well maintained. To minimize downtime and to maximize safety, of course. Run your daily checklist. And remember, if you don't schedule your maintenance, your equipment will schedule it for you. Personnel must be well trained as well, to understand which situations may cause problems during operations and to fully understand the do's and don'ts. Of course, you have to optimize the settings of your blasting pot and choose the right nozzle, but also think about connecting your robot to the blast pot. It allows you to use the remote for turning on and off the blast pot, so you don't have to scream to your colleague, but also brings extra safety by shutting off the pressure if something goes wrong. Thank you for watching this week's Prime Insight Please subscribe below and we'd like to see you next week.